Okay, My Hero Academia Season 6 just ended this week and I believe it's the best season yet. Let me explain. But before we get started, let me know your guys' thoughts on Season 6 and for the newly announced Season 7. But leave your thoughts in the comments below and let's get started. I've always preached that Season 6 was going to be the best season out of all of My Hero Academia. Due to just basically what happens in the manga and it having one of my favorite arcs in the entire series. And I was completely right. Right. Both arcs were amazing, animation was good, I'll talk more about that later, and just everything was just really really good. Spoiler warning by the way for the entire season, let's just start off with the Liberation War arc. So this arc was hyped up to the brim. I loved it in the manga and I was expecting the same animated or hopefully better. Now story wise, nothing has really changed from the manga. They adapted it really, really well and they even paced it way better in my opinion than the manga. Voice actors and scores are always a plus when it comes to the My Hero anime. I can watch this series in both sub and dub and like everybody's performance, but we're gonna have to talk about the animation. Now, I believe that the animation was really good okay it is not bad however the manga designs and drawings would always be superior and it's always been like that i could say that about any season of my hero academia and probably for a bunch of other shows but the only reason i'm bringing it up here is because this arc is supposed to be the avengers endgame level showdown and while all of the moments are there like dobby's dance and shigaraki's reawakening I feel like it could have been way better animated and I don't mean that to disrespect the animators because I know that they work their hardest and not get paid very well. But giving them only a year gap to animate all of this, I feel like they just needed to take their time and if that means waiting just a couple more months or maybe another year, then I believe it's a great sacrifice to be made just so it makes those extra key moments pop. I feel like some of those moments were just kind of watered down due to the animation, like Lemillion's power coming back but even with all of that it's still again the best this series has ever done the animation is still great the moments are still there this whole arc is just one giant battle with no filler added to it it kept me very entertained throughout every single episode and every piece of the battle and it didn't make me go all right but go back to what deco is doing it would have been tied with uh season two as one of the best seasons if it wasn't for the second part of this season let's talk about the vigilante deku arc now this was my second most hyped up arc of the entire series just because of how dark the series was getting. Everyone was beat up and defeated, tons of people have either died or gotten injured, and society is now turning their backs against the heroes leading to Deku becoming Batman. Now the manga was beautifully drawn here and I really hope that the anime was able to capture the same vibe and it did. I love Deku vigilante design with or without his mask and I just love how beat up and dirty his costume has gone from every fight that he has gone through and speaking of fights i love every single fight scene here i love the fight with muscular leading again and class 1a they all just flow so well and with the addition of deku's new quirks it makes everything just feel so new and fresh but my favorite part is the scenery the dark and gritty setting of japan with the rain and all of the destruction is very destroy lonely if you ask me but the obvious best part of this season is the story this probably one of the best stories my hero has ever done with society turning their backs on the heroes after the war and you have everyone trying to earn the trust of the people again and then you have deku going through a redemption arc where he wants to protect the people that he loves but meaning he has to go into every battle alone not only that but he also wants to connect to the villains that he is fighting he wants to know why they're ending up like this and he wants to save them that was basically like the whole theme of the lady nagant fight and i believe that theme will be showing up more often in later arcs kind of like what naruto was doing with the talk no jutsu to pain and then him doing it later to obito i'm guessing they're going with that same direction or at least they're hinting at it but my favorite fight of the whole series was deku versus class 1a where everyone in class 1a is trying to stop deku and take him back to ua it's such a huge change in the my hero saga usually my hero isn't this dark or serious and you can see the series evolving into something really really good kind of in a way like harry potter where the first couple of movies there's a set of tone in it or you know it's magical and childish but with a little hint of maturity but then with each movie as the characters are getting older the series 
series grows up with it too and i believe that's what the series is also doing i think it's evolving with the audience and if it just keeps on with the same path it might be one of shonen's best series now that's it for my thoughts on season 6 but am i excited for the upcoming season 7 yes and no but we'll have that discussion at a later date but for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video again let me know your guys's thoughts and opinions on this season 6 and for season 7 just go ahead and leave them all in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next one